Hey folks, so I recently made a video about the Panasonic RR-830. If you've seen my earlier video, there was an issue with this machine because it wouldn't play tape loops correctly since it had an auto stop mechanism. So I had to find a workaround and that ended up being within the cassette tape itself as opposed to rigging something on the machine, which you totally can do, but it's not something that I wanted to do. So today I'm gonna to be showing you how to create a cassette tape specifically for the Panasonic RR-830 uh, that will play continuously without triggering the auto stop. So let's get at it. So I have a uh, brand new unopened tape uh, here. I'm just gonna go ahead and open that up. We're gonna go from ground zero. So brand new cassette tape. Let me clear my area here. Um, and we'll go ahead and open this up. This is a, uh, a size, uh, a PH1. It's a Phillips head PH1. I use um, iFixit's computer toolkit, which is super slick. So let me go ahead and open these guys up. Now that the screws are out, we will want to uh, remove the faceplate of the cassette. We can get rid of this. Don't need that. And now we will have to take the tape out itself. So we'll remove that and we'll go ahead and cut, cut the tape from the reels. All right, so now that we have the two reels separated from the tape, we want to measure out nine and a half inches of tape itself. So let's go ahead and get our ruler set up. So you'll see the way that this tape naturally curves and that's the way that you want to tape it. So, it, so it's the uh, so it curves naturally around like that. So the tape will obviously want want to be on the inside of this loop. Before we uh, get to taping this, I'm gonna take my size 32 rubber band. Uh, you can get like 400 of these on Amazon for like five bucks, like I mentioned in my other video. Uh, so I'll go ahead and grab one of these. These are the perfect size to fit in the cassette tape uh, to kind of act as the uh, as the traction in order to turn the tape so that it doesn't trigger the auto stop. Now that we have that in place, we'll go ahead and cut a small piece of tape. Now comes the super fun part, getting to tape these together. I find that it's often easiest to turn the tape inside out and tape it that way. So there we go, we just wanna make sure that we turn that back inside out, or outside in, I guess you would say, before we put it in the tape layer. So in other words, the taped side should never be on the outside of the tape. It should be on this side, on the inside, not the outside. And we can go ahead and start threading it into the cassette. Now, you might remember if you watched my other video, I put painter's tape on the wheels in order to give it extra grip to spin. But I found when I got these rubber bands, which were newer than the previous rubber band I had found, this has more traction and it doesn't need the blue painter's tape to spin. So I won't be using that in today's video. So I will go ahead and start just feeding this in. This is super tedious. Perfect, now we got that and everything is in perfect order. So before I screw it in, I always like to just test it first. So usually I just put one screw in just to hold things together and I'll throw this in there, see if it works. Again, we're looking to make sure that it's actually looping and not stopping. And you'll see this one's a little wonky because I stretched the rubber band out beforehand. If you don't stretch that rubber band out beforehand, it's gonna play beautifully. Um, so do note that unless you want some kind of, um, you know, skipping and stopping and imperfections of that kind of speed level, that might be cool to add to your tape looping. So let me show you. That's fine. I wished I wouldn't have stretched it out, but this is what it looks like if you don't stretch the rubber band out. And frankly, it would be the same without the blue tape. I just tested it before this video. Um, so this is how it plays just beautifully, consistently turning. Beautiful. Four, five, six, two, 
and this is the same tape that you heard in my first video about this workaround. So that's how you build the, the specific cassette uh, to work around the auto stop mechanism of the Panasonic RR830. Um, again, you need nine and a half inches of tape in order to make that circle and you need a size 32 rubber band. Don't stretch it out, otherwise you'll get uh, the little, the warbly movement like this tape we just did. Otherwise, happy tape looping. Be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more music content.